Hey everyone, it's Michael here with GoodyReader.com and today I'm going to give you a sense on how Calibre works. Now, Calibre is a free open source piece of software that basically manages your dedicated e-reader and makes it a little bit more effective in being able to do things like convert ebooks from one format to another, to edit cover art, to change key details on an ebook. So we have a Kindle plugged into our caliber here. Incidentally, in this video description, both on our blog and website, we'll have a full link to where you can download this. But it's really powerful. I'm just going to give you a basic overview on the types of things that you would likely use on a day-to-day -day basis although this is really powerful tool for like authors for people that are uh, indie authors who run publishing companies I know a lot of people that use this so let's look at a book that likely everyone has read or wants to read uh, G George R. R. Martin A Game of Thrones now we have a Kindle attached to our computer here plugged into USB and of course the Kindle is not able to read the EPUB format so we have this book and we have a Kindle well how do exactly do we convert this book to a Kindle compatible format it's actually very easy you saw here that we added a book we just clicked on add book we just found this book on our computer and selected this so uh, I opened up two copies but I'm just gonna have one here now it gives you some details the author the publishing date the series the publisher and when the book was first published but we want to change some of this information so I'm going to right click and click edit metadata and then edit metadata individually and we have some details here So it shows ISBN number, all this great stuff. Here we can change the title, the author name. More on that in just a minute. I'm going to just show you how you can convert the formats. So we're going to look at convert ebook and then convert individually. Now there's two things that you're going to see here. Input format is EPUB, output format well that's EPUB 2 but we want to change that Amazon for their Kindles Mobi and AZW3 are great formats you could use one or the other I like to use Mobi because it's a little bit more standardized for uh, ebook formats so I'm just gonna click OK now what it's doing behind the scenes is it's converting this book in EPUB to a Mobi book and the final product will actually have two copies, EPUB and Mobi. So depending on the length of the book, how extensive it is, if there's images and things like that in it, hyperlinks, it could, the process could take 10 seconds, it can take a minute or so. So we're just going to wait for this to complete. And you can see how far it is along by looking here. Okay, it's done. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to send this book over to my Kindle by right clicking again and then send to device and then send to device main memory. Now if we click on our device which is a picture of our Kindle you can see that this book now is on our e-reader. Okay, now let's say that we have, I'm just going to remove it from my library. Let's say we have a book here that's in Mobi format, which is a Charlene Harris book. Let's edit the metadata. So this is a pretty long title. On your e-reader or your tablet, you may not want all of this information here so caliber allows you to edit these types of things why this is important well if you download a lot of books from the internet or from torrent sites or from 
Project Gutenberg and things like that. Uh, sometimes the title, the author, the series name could be a mess. The title could be the book uploader's name. The author could be like, you know, a myriad of things. It could be anything but Charlene Harris. Another thing that Caliber allows you to do is to fetch cover images and things like that. Again, you know, a lot of the books that you may download from the internet, it may not even have cover art. So when you look at it on your e-reader, it just may be like a default type thing. So you can change the cover art by just clicking on cover art. And what it's going to do is it's going to ping Google, Amazon, the open library, a ton of different companies. So we'll just click on Amazon here. You can see the book has not changed, but the size of it has. Also, you can download the metadata. So let's say that the title of the book and the author's name is, is there, but maybe it doesn't have a rating. Maybe it doesn't have like any of this information here and you kind of want to get it. So you can click download metadata. All right. And we're going to click on Google for the metadata. Now you can see that stars have changed, the tags have changed. This information here has changed as well. So you can click OK and it will actually save everything that we did here. And then we can simply send it to the main memory of the Kindle. Another cool thing that this program allows you to do is delete books from your Kindle. So say we have here, I don't know, Oxford Dictionary. Well, I don't really look at a lot of dictionaries. So, I mean, I do more on my computer than my e-reader. So we can actually remove this from our Kindle and it has deleted it. Now we had two copies of two different dictionaries on our Kindle but and you could delete them all. So this is like a cool way that if you have like an extensive ebook library that you can manage it more effectively by making sure that the title of the book is always the title. You can see here like my clippings. What does that even mean? You know with Caliber you can change that to whatever you want. Same with this title like 620 two one seven two zero seven two zero under slash mm author named Jeff like this is the perfect example on why you would want to change information like that via caliber because you can actually just make sure that everything looks nice and simple like this cover art no cover art this looks terrible what does this even mean I don't even know and it's my Kindle. So those are a few of the, the big options that you have uh, with Caliber. That's sort of like what I do most often with myself. But as I was kind of saying, there is a lot of different options here. You can either like uh, output ebook formats when we're converting them to be optimized for specific e-readers. So whether you have like a Nook HD, a Sony T3, a generic tablet, Kindle Paperwhite or Kindle Voyage, you can sort of like optimize books for that. And you can see here a lot of different other options here. As you start to use Caliber more, you'll discover some of these kind of cool options. Certainly if you have a specific device like an iPad or a Kindle Paperwhite, you can start discovering like neat little things like that to optimize things for it. But day to day, you're going to be downloading books from the internet. You want to be able to convert these books to, if you have a Kindle, to a Kindle capable format or if you have like a Kobo or a Barnes and Noble you may download ebooks that are in texts or in zip files or you might download manga or something like that and you want to be able to easily manage it or all this data here and send it to your e-reader in one shoot and 
this is it for the tutorial. If you have any questions or concerns on, on Caliber and, and how this works, if you have any ideas for future videos involving Caliber that you want me to address, let me know. And for GoodyReader.com, my name is Michael, and everybody take care.